use a mapping pen or a 0.1mm felter pen with black Indian ink. In a hit and miss method, draw in the outline of the distant hills. I'm using a 0.3mm Unipin fine line pen to start the tip of the one tree and the outlines, also in the hit and miss method. Work in all the visible branches and boughs, the small mound and the horizon line. These distant hills are hazy with no details visible. Draw in a few angle guidelines and begin filling in the area. Note the light and dark areas. The closer the lines are together, the darker the effect. We will darken up some areas later on. Again, I am using a fine tip mapping pen to draw in these lines. A thicker nib will spoil the softness of the hills. The top of the hills are darker and we can begin to indicate them. Notice that I am keeping the area lighter close to the horizon. The whole area is full of the morning mist. You may even want to draw this in lighter than I am doing here. Keep the lines very light behind this tree. Draw these lines very thin and slightly more apart than before to keep the light misty effect here. We want the hills to gradually get lighter towards the right hand side. <laughs> I was a bit too enthusiastic and added in more lines than I should have and lost the effect I wanted to show here. The tree is in silhouette, so we can go to a thicker nib. I've opted for a 0.3mm felt of pen. Any make of pen will do. Fill in all the shadow areas first. We have vines wrap themselves around the trunks. Scribble them in to show the visible texture. Then add in all the bare branches. Scribble in all the vegetation of the mound, leaving some white of the paper to show up as sunlit leaves, and notice where the deep shadows are. Use vertical lines for contrast against the one behind it. I've decided to darken it further to bring it more forward for distance perspective. There are a lot of dark areas here, so I've gone over to a 0.5mm pen. A fine tipped pen is not suitable here. Scribble all this in, not forgetting to leave sky holes, as well as the loose leaves at the edges. These branches all point upwards, and yet the leaves point downwards. Don't fill in this tree as dark as the left hand one. We need to show the separation. Add in the bushes at ground level and the tree trunk must just be visible. Lightly scribble in the leaves with a 0.3mm pen. Leave the tops of the boughs slightly lighter than the rest of the leaves and also leave some sky holes. Now these will show up in uh, nature as the scene is a backlit. Continue to work downward until the lower boughs are also filled in. Lightly add some cross hatching to pull the tree together. Now to make this a pastoral scene, use other reference photos to sketch in some cows in silhouette. Notice how I've placed them and I've added three for compositional balance. And don't forget to add the cast shadows on the ground. These two dark stumps balance out against the other cows. Add some small shrubs and these horizontal lines to show the flatness of the foreground. And these lines are much closer together towards the distance. Continue to add more lines and shrubs which are drawn larger in the foreground. And notice one pen for the darks and the other pen for the thinner lines. Add some grasses for effect. Now is a time where maybe just a few touch-ups here and there is necessary to pull the whole picture together. Please like this video if you have enjoyed watching it and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so we can inform you when we bring out more new tutorials like this one. 
If you would like to see the paint-along version of this class, head over to our website, onlineartlessons.com. Thank you for watching.